it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a quick clean and this place, guys, oh my goodness, it is flipped right upside down. So this week I have been so busy with work. It is insane. Many of you know that I'm a hairstylist and for all that you that didn't know, I am a hairstylist and I do have a salon in my home and this time of year is incredibly insane. I'm talking appointments all the time and we are in a red zone where we live due to the COVID which our next zone is a lockdown so I am booked solid. This week the girls have just been doing their thing in here. They've been playing in the toy room and it's just a disaster this week. Every week I do a toy room cleanup. You guys have seen it in previous weeks and this week is no other. I gotta get it done but I'm getting these girls to help me. It is a disaster. I do not make the mess so I do not want to clean it by myself. So I'm going to teach them to clean up with me in there. Aaliyah, not so much. She's three years old. You know, three-year-olds, they're not really cleaning up too much stuff. Nevaeh is sitting at the table just in the living room there, finishing up a journal that she had to do for school. And then she is going to be helping me in the toy room as well. This is your first time stopping by. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. And guys, there's no other thing to do, but let's get cleaning. Let me show you, I need a one no chance, oh baby, all I need, I need a one no chance, oh baby, let me show you. Okay, do you guys want to know a little secret? I have not cleaned the top of this since I did that living room rearrange video, which I believe was around two, three weeks ago. And I am shocked at how much dust collected on this thing. I'm giving it a good wipe down with those trusty baby wipes. And it wasn't until I saw this video that I noticed in the back there at the bottom, there was still some dust. But I moved right on to the little table again with my baby wipes. And I'm going to give the other table, the little end table in our living room, a good wipe down too. When I rearranged the living room, I brought the coffee tables upstairs. It is a lifesaver. Having tables to put drinks on and just really anything has been so convenient and I can't believe that we went as long as we did with storing these in the basement. I have been thinking of so many crazy and amazing ways and fun things to do with these that I am ready to do a DIY. So I get my cabinets done, which will be tomorrow, which is Friday. Today is Thursday as I am recording this and filming this and I'm going to be putting the last coat of paint on the five doors that I have left. So watch out guys, this coming weekend I will be putting up my kitchen cabinet makeover videos. I am so excited, it looks amazing and I am super pumped for you guys to see that. doesn't really clean that much perfect example is her here getting her baby ready for bed she was so excited and adamant of getting this baby ready for bed that there was no stopping her she is so cute she's getting so big and time is just flying by in a blink of an eye
happen, but there is literally Lego from one end of my house all the way to the other. I am finding it in every bin, on every counter, absolutely everywhere. So as I was cleaning this, I was telling Nevaeh the importance of keeping your toys clean and organized and then the bins that mommy provided and there shouldn't be Lego everywhere. And the girl just proceeds to tell me that Lego is the most sought after toy, that everybody loves it, and it is the most purchased toy in the world and every kid has it. And I was like, oh yeah? She goes, yeah, it's true. Everybody in my class has Lego. It was so funny. So the conversations that we are having while I'm doing this is about how everybody has Lego, the things kids talk about, right? I am cleaning everything up here, trying to organize as I go, making my little piles. That is how I clean. I am a pile maker. I have one for the LOL dolls, big items that go in the one bin. I have a bin for um, basically everything. If you've seen my previous cleaning videos, I have a bin for Barbies, LOL dolls, little people, just straight up books, a bin just for Barbie clothes, a bin for miscellaneous little toys that include little paws pockets there's also um, Shopkins and all the Barbie accessories that the girls get because you know there's a million of them they go in there too so although there is a lot of toys like guys I can admit it the toy room there's way too many toys way too many toys but everything that you buy nowadays comes with a million pieces and I try to keep them all because one day when I can't use these toys and the girls are done with them I am willing to give them sell them donate them whatever I need to do but I want to make sure that I still have all the pieces that were purchased with them when I got them I am almost done here I can feel it I'm getting excited any of you guys watch Grey's Anatomy? Because as I was filming this, that's all I could think of was like the time ticking in my head. Chris was upstairs getting the girls ready for bed. Nevaeh was just sitting there helping me finish up with the dresser. I gave her that job. That is her little armoire dresser that my friend made for. All the costumes go in there and dress up accessories. I'm just making a pile there for her so she can deal with that. And you know, my pile cleaning. I hope you guys are still cleaning along with me. Turn up that music and let's get cleaning some more. We are almost done. I can feel it. Look around guys, you are doing such a good job.
Anyways, my vacuum was driving me mental tonight. It kept blowing the fuse on our breaker and I must have went downstairs like three or four times to flip it over before I finally went crazy and I told Chris to go down there and literally stand beside it so I could finish vacuuming. I'm assuming that it is because we have the run the Christmas lights that we put up on the house running into the same plug that the main beam vacuum is in the garage. So I definitely have to take a look at that mark it put it on the list i guess another thing on the list guys but look how clean this place is i have everything organized in my bins this carpet needs a steam cleaning so make sure you hit that subscribe button that is going to be coming soon i picked up a couple ornaments here and there especially this cute little one under here it is a wood burned ornament it has like a word blabble of 2020 basically wrapped up into one big thing this word blabble of the global pandemic i love it it is going to be the perfect addition to our christmas tree this year i'm super stoked we are going to be getting that this weekend I love the holidays. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I have to go finish painting my cabinets now, so I'll see you guys next time.